Today, I'm gonna to give you my top five tips for a fast keto meal prep. Tip number one. Plan ahead. Buy your meats and protein when they're on sale. I always buy my meats and veggies when they're on sale and then I prep them or cut them up or do what I have to do with them and then freeze them for later. It'll save you a lot of money in the long run. Then you don't have to plan your meals around what is on sale that week. You can just plan your meals based on what you have in the freezer. So if chicken is on sale this week, I'll probably buy three packs of chicken instead of just one for the meals that I'm gonna make. And that way, when I wanna make something with chicken later, I already have it on hand and I don't have to run to the store when it's more expensive. Another tip with planning ahead is that I always eat my fresh veggies first. So generally I go grocery shopping every two to three weeks and I will buy two or three packages of spinach or some sort of greens. So the first week of that, I'll mostly have salads with those fresh greens. And then for my second and third week before I go grocery shopping again, I eat the stuff that I have frozen like broccoli or cauliflower or asparagus, stuff that I've already cut up from when it was on sale before. Along with planning ahead, you want to make sure that you have your meals planned. So that means that on Thursday or Friday, when I'm going to meal prep on Sunday, I always have a list of what I'm going to make. And that way I'm not in the kitchen just like wasting my time. I know what I want to make and I get it done. So I usually make a list of five to six meals because we have leftovers too. And then I make a breakfast type food and a dessert usually. And that way I have like six to eight things that I know I'm gonna be making that day and I'm not just dilly-dallying around in the kitchen. Tip number two, keep it simple. When I go to the store or when I'm planning my meals, I usually pick one or two protein sources, add a veggie, and then if it's a lean meat or a lean protein, I cook it in fat. Now, I'm not talking like a ton of fat. If I'm gonna have like salmon or chicken, I usually add a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon if I'm trying to lose weight, and if I'm not trying to lose weight, then I can add a little bit more. Some of my meal preps are a little bit more time consuming, but for the most part, just try to keep it simple. All you need is a protein source, a veggie, and then cook it in a fat. Tip number three is one I've mentioned in pretty much all of my videos for meal prepping, is that you need to free your hands up so you have time to do other things in the kitchen. So a slow cooker is really helpful, making casseroles. I love like one pot meals where you just throw everything in the pan and then you have an easy cleanup too. Tip number four, double or quadruple your batches. You're not in the kitchen to just like play around and waste your time. You wanna make sure that you're making the most of your time. So when I'm making something that we really like, I make sure to like double or quadruple the batches. I've also mentioned this in my other videos, but it is one of my top tips because it saves me a lot of time in the long run. And when we have get togethers or something going on on a Sunday where I can't meal prep, those are the times when I can just pull stuff out of the freezer that we've made before. It might seem like it takes a lot of extra time initially when you're doubling or quadrupling whatever you're making, but in the long run it saves you time because there's some weekends where I legit don't meal prep. I just pull stuff from the freezer and it makes it really easy so that I have a weekend off or I just enjoy the day with the family instead of spending all of my time in the kitchen. And then that leads me to my fifth and final tip, which is save and freeze your food. Don't throw away leftovers, make sure that you freeze them. One thing that I always freeze is chili because I make a big batch and we don't usually have chili two or three times a week. So when there's leftovers of chili, I always freeze it because I can just pull out a container and let it thaw out for the day and then warm it up for a quick meal like on a Friday night when there's not much left in the fridge and I don't feel like cooking. The other thing with saving and freezing your leftovers is that you can use those foods for different recipes. So I mentioned chili is something that I freeze. Sometimes we do like 
chili cheese dogs where I pull the chili out and then we just put the chili over the top of a hot dog or something like that. So there's other recipes that you can make with those things and that way you're not getting sick of the same old foods. So my tip number one was plan ahead. My tip number two was keep it simple. My tip number three was use the crock pot or casserole or one pot dishes. Tip number four was double or quadruple your batches when you're cooking. And tip number five was save and freeze your leftovers. Those are the top five things that I do on a regular basis and I hope that they help you in the kitchen too.